Hello everybody, my name is Claude Webster and I'm here to give you a hand today to help you prepare for your performances. What I do is a lot of stress management and long-term performance preparation. How do you prepare in advance and what do you do when you are at the moment of your performance? I'm a pianist and I'm a coach. I've been working for the last 10 years with musicians and singers and I have developed lots of tools that I want to share with you. You practice countless hours your instrument. But what do you do to prepare mentally? What do you do to prepare psychologically to the stress that will arise when just before the audition or just before your important concert. Part of my job is stress management. I need to explain what stress is, demystify it, and how to use that energy to transform it to your advantage. I have developed lots of tools to help you at the moment of your performance. When you're nervous, what do you do? Because being nervous is normal. It is to be expected. Now, when you know your manifestations, what did you plan in advance in order to use, to do when those manifestations arise? Another part of my job is the mental preparation. How do you take care of the inner dialogue that goes in your head. Can you focus, can you concentrate on demand? What can you do to help you? There are lots of concentration exercises that I will share with you that will help you build that awareness that will help you stay in the moment during your performance. Another part of what I do has to do with goals. What is your goal? I usually divide goals in three categories. Long-term goals, why do you play your instrument or why do you sing? And short-term, what's the goal today? For this audition, for example, or this concert, considering uh, what, where you are at in your preparation, the pieces that you sing or that you play, what is your goal? today. And then the third category is what are your goals of actions? What do you do? What is your ritual when you start? What do you do after the first note? What do you do after each phrase? There's physical elements, musical elements and emotional elements to juggle with. How aware are you of those and how much have you planned in advance? The last part that I usually address has to do with facing your fears. Since everybody is different, you need to figure out what is it that you are afraid of. And you know fear is something that lives in the dark. As soon as you bring it in the light, you put words on it, what is going on, then you can figure out what do you need in order to take care of it, to transform that energy? You can even think of it as behind each fear, there is a desire. Do you feed the fear or do you feed the desire? What do you need? I will give you a hand and show you the tools that I have developed in order to demystify, undo, transform all of those elements. If you have any questions, any specific things that you are uh, facing, don't hesitate. Write it on the wall, send me a private message. I will include your comments and your questions in the future videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm looking forward to continue this adventure with you.